Hey guys, this is Chris from Love Systems, and I'm here at the Capilano Bridge in North Vancouver, British Columbia. And this is the site of a very interesting experiment that was done by some psychological researchers at University of British Columbia in 1977. As you can see, this is a very scary bridge. We got some scary views down here, and uh, the research that they were doing was on the relationship between the emotions of love, of attraction, of anxiety, and fear and how these reactions relate to one another. So what the experimenters did is they uh, would take a pretty research assistant at, and put her at the end of this bridge. And when men would come to the end of the bridge, they would suddenly see this research assistant. Hi, can I ask you a few questions? These guys would fill out a few questions, then the research assistant would say, Well, if you have any more questions, you can feel free to call me. You're welcome. And then they performed the same experiment again in the parking lot. And what they found was the guys who met the research assistant at the end of this big scary bridge wound up calling her way more than the guys who met the research assistant in the parking lot. And what they concluded was that the guys at the end of this bridge were more attracted to the pretty research assistant. So what does this mean for dating and for guys who are looking to improve their success with women? What this study proves is it proves the theory of the transference of emotion, which is this idea that emotions from one source can be transferred to another source and they can even change their meaning when they become transferred. So in this case, the fear from the bridge was being transferred into attraction for the pretty research assistant. And so the takeaway from this is that doing exciting things can actually make you more attractive. And on the other hand, being dull is the kiss of death. No matter how attractive you are, if you bore a woman, it'll actually destroy that attraction. It means that the emotions that you create when you're dating a woman, whether you're telling a sad story or an exciting story or a scary story, all of these emotions transfer kind of onto you and a woman will perceive these kind of emotions that she's experiencing with you as emotions that she's experiencing because of you. This experiment also verified what psychologists call the two-factor theory of emotion, which is the idea that the emotions that we experience have two parts. There's a physiological part that happens in our body and is comprised of our heart rate and hormones like adrenaline. And there's a cognitive element that happens in our mind, which is comprised of the thoughts that we use to interpret the feelings that we're experiencing in our body. If we apply this theory to approach anxiety, you see that arousal caused by the attraction that we have for the women that we're interested in, plus negative thoughts that can often come from negative beliefs that we have deep down inside of ourselves, add these two together and you get anxiety. Approach anxiety is basically the opposite of what was observed in the Capilano Bridge study. Instead of fear being turned into attraction, attraction is being turned into fear or anxiety. The secret to getting control over your emotions and fear and anxiety and attraction is to be, become aware of the secret, quiet thoughts in your mind that are making you interpret certain physiological states as being certain emotions. And if you control these, this, this way that you talk to yourself, what you can learn is how to reframe your different emotional reactions into more positive and more useful emotional reactions. And probably the number one lesson from this study is that even if you can't totally control your emotions, you can control the way you react to your emotions. And learning how to do that is the key to being a really confident guy. All right, see you later, guys. Whoa!